Hi everybody, I'm Justin Boos and I'm here to show you the Scribbles Brush Pack for Painter Essentials. And in this brush pack there are 10 brushes. It includes circles, heavy, scramble, scratch, shape, oops, did I get that? Scratch, shape, smear, soften, stroke, tangent, and stipple. Uh, and in this brush pack, um, it helps you to kind of color pick a lot of your work and um, go back and forth between the values and create a really scribbly effect for your work uh, while adding chaos uh, and beauty both at the same time. So let's go ahead and go to the default picture here and I'm going to go down these brushes and kind of show you what each one of them does. Again a lot of these you're going to want to color pick on so for example um, I think I had a, a white selected for this and this brush looks like something you make a stroke on like that but its intention is actually to just keep it still and you can kind of see some interesting things happening and I'm going to try again here you can kind of keep going until you get what you like you can undo or redo there we go there's something interesting there I think I went too long there we go and I can go through the image and create some sections that do this cool and it seems like you the longer you hold it the better luck you might have and you can turn off glow and not glow that would help in this situation I think I had a white on glow there but you can see how this creates some really cool effects uh, combined with other effects this really adds to it so let's go back to our normal image and you can kind of see the different things that that created over here I remember before I added some of this foreground I actually had a lot back there but it is a pretty cool brush to create some composition with so we're gonna go ahead and go to heavy um, this creates some pretty bold like effects like I do have here in the front you can kind of divide and I can whoops make sure I'm on the right layer there this is a really bold concentrated brush that's got a lot of pressure sensitivity to it so you can kind of create some creepy inky effects with this brush almost like a sumi brush and we're gonna go ahead and go to the next one scramble alright and this one is gonna distort your picture there and the bigger I get, the more the interesting things happen. This is almost like a a wind demon coming through here and pushing the pixels out of the way and then back in. See here. That one definitely creates some really cool effects. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and move on to scratch. This one is pretty fun here. This is this one is you can it's kind of like this last one, but it's more like to create some make a smaller brush some little scratches and this is a pretty small picture so the example here is pretty bold but on a large scale canvas you can kind of make these little tiny distortions and bright areas or areas that are just too soft um, shape here this one is going to help you to kind of control some of the stuff going on so if I want to control some of the chaos with maybe this color going down here and I can come in at different sizes. This is going to help me to create some nice, clean, but chaotic strokes that's going to kind of help me guide along the rest of my brushes, too. So let's go to smear here. Let's back up as much as we can. That'll do. All right, so smear is something you're going to want to take big. And it kind of does the backwards effect of what this this earlier brush did and if you hold it down you can create some very circular effects so again kind of another blender scratchy tool but you can see how this one is going to be more bold and so if you want to smear up part of your picture for any kind of look going on this you can you can see what happens if I use it on a large scale basis here so all together uh, the brushes are actually very different for what this can do when you do this. So let's go ahead and go to soften. Maybe I did too much here. Did I do too much? Let's see. There we go. Soften is going to help you take some of the the. So let's say this wasn't soft enough, or here, here let's take a let's take a rough spot right here. 
we'll take a mid-tone and I'm just going to kind of bring that in there in kind of a chaotic way we're also softening the picture which is really cool um, I really like the use or the, the look of this one it almost looks like a just a picture you picked up off of the garage floor or something and and it had some kind of texture on it but it served purpose in the picture so it it's not just there um, really cool brush uh, kind of actually excited to have that one in my arsenal let's go ahead and look at stroke this one uh, of course big looks kind of like a just a big fuzz and you can certainly use it for that I found some fun color picking in the trees earlier and and playing with that but its intention is to grab the nearest color that you want and make some make some stroke like effects I won't even try to be too organized here because that's not the point of it usually when it's a tellable stroke it's like a one that's not quite perfect there we go and I've added some fuzzy strokes to my work if I want to do some other weird things back here I can and there's they still look like natural photo editing uh, so let's see here let's go to tangent this one is fun I find that every every particle pack has got a, a rendition of this brush it's kind of a necessary particle um, this one I recommend playing with big and small because they're both gonna have two different effects a chaotic one and then the small one is going to have a smooth one. And this one you can color pick and create, again, a kind of a tangent of a whirl. And you can have that helps you, help you in, in a cr more creative composition like this. And the last one here, Stipple, this one's kind of fun because you can really just add it anywhere. Um, uh, there are probably probable fundamental places you could put it, but you can see how I'm just almost adding atmosphere or I can just come over here and really mess things up um, it doesn't have to be black or white it can be some colors so you can see I didn't even really pay a whole lot of attention to what I was doing as I was talking and showing the showing you these brushes um, but we do have a lot of cool scribbles going on uh, already and I kind of almost want to just keep playing with this brush pack it's so fun uh, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys can create some cool things with this brush pack um, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.